Hello and welcome, it's Jolly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with a pour on this, I think it's a 60 by, oh what is it, I think it's a 60 by 30 canvas. Um, and I've been, <laughs> done a few, oh, done a few um, pieces of art in greens and, and said each time that I'm not a green lover. But they turned out so beautiful and I had so many offers to buy them. So I thought I'll do it on this gallery wrapped canvas in a different um, style to the others that I've done and see how we go. So I will get down to it and talk as I go instead of chatter, chatter, chatter. So Rightio, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to turn it this way, but I'll start with it this way, the composition. So I'm going to pour a bit of white on it and um, give it a spread out with my spatula. I love these offset spatulas, they're great for doing that. I'm not going to worry too much about my edges at this point in time because I will um, be blowing some paint around and if not I can always finish off my uh, edge of my canvas after it's all dry so but ideally it is better I find if you actually do do it first up it's just another job less that you've got to do after the canvas is dry but different strokes for different folks I'm not wanting too much white down that one end because that's where I want to put my greens mostly and this is where I want to blow to up the canvas so it's kind of yeah all up here this way I think and that's it that that could be, white could be a little bit thinner so it blows a little bit easier but we'll give it a try at that first. So I'm going to start off with these lovely greens I've been using. So this is the cool, you know, the uh, moss green I think it was called. It's, oh, let me, let me show you what I did. Oh, green deep. So it's green deep, so it's 50% green deep and 50% metallic gold. And look at this beautiful, beautiful shimmer it gives. So very happy with this color. It's really beautiful. So I'm gonna just freelance it as you do, or as I do. Pour a bit of that there and a bit of this there and see how we go. I'm going to add some of the just the metallic gold. I'll oh, just drizzle that in. Rightio. And then I'm going to go with my the, the straight green deep. I was saying in the previous videos where I'd done the greens that I'm not a green lover and I just didn't, it wasn't my thing. But I did these couple of pieces of art and they just turned out so lovely that I thought, oh, maybe I am. I mean, because they seem to be um, fitting in with other people's decor or what they like at this particular time. So. I will put a bit of the, this is literally the green deep again mixed with white so it was mostly white and a dribble of the green deep and then it makes another sort of pepperminty green. So they're basically all the same shade except for the gold. Drizzle, drizzle. This is really a lot of fun just doing this. This is very therapeutic, I find. Right here. And then this was just called green light. So basically light green, another um, 
global color. Ooh, oh, jilly. Oh, that was a, no, I'm not gonna get rid of that big blob. Anyway, I've done it now. I've done it now. We'll see how, try and blow some of that away. I don't want too much of that. I wanted to add a red in there, but you know, I think I'm not gonna add my red until I've blown the rest out. Let's see how I go. So I'll... I could try and suck some of that up with, 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 if I can find it. I've got a little pipette. I'll see if I can suck some of it up because I know it's way too much there. Ah! Or if you've got a syringe, he's very good at sucking paint up. Oh, fancy that, hey. Silly Jilly. Oh, it'll look like a dog's breakfast, I reckon, if I leave all that on there. Let's see if I can spoon it off. Oh, oh my goodness. See, that's because I was just too eager and the cup was over full. Plop, 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 it went, and I could not stop it. Radio. I'll give this a go. In for a penny, in for a pen. I'm not sure whether to add my red in now. Oh, decisions, decisions. Let's just see. I've got the very dark, cool red here. I might just put a bit here and here because I'm going to blow this downwards first, and then I'm going to blow that over the edge so it might get lost anyway but the red goes beautiful with these colors really lovely 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 okay i've got in a twizzle here i'm in a twizzle all my wires are twizzled radio let's give this a go Oh, I would have liked that to have been a bit thinner and I could scrape it off and thin it out but this is you beaut super duper the red is absolutely beautiful in it so I do need to add some red when I do my embellishments because the red as my son said it looks a bit Christmassy with red in mom but um I don't know. I suppose it does look a bit more Christmassy with red in, doesn't it? Let me see. I do me. Let me see. Let me see. Now you know what I'm going to do with this, don't you? Don't you? Let's see how we go. Ho ho ho! not actually doing kisses I'm doing swirls wow I don't really need to do much with that I don't think I mean should I add more red those colours are just beautiful together. They really, really are. I'll 
something's going on somewhere. We live in a country area so we don't very often hear sirens or anything going on in our area. It's a pretty sleepy town, thank goodness. I don't mind pushing the balloon a bit further down in this because the white from underneath will come through and just give it then it'll make the other colours pop but that is quite super and I guess probably all I do is just some little wisps off this Just using a little skewer, you can or you don't have to do anything. But that is super beautiful, I think. What do you guys think? Ooh. So, get the big picture. I think that's pretty nice. Oh, I'm getting paint everywhere. I'm in floor. Oh my goodness, what my dog's barking at. Something going on somewhere. There's planes and fire engines and sirens. Radio. I think that that's it. That's all I should do to that. I won't fiddle anymore, I promise. Oops. I'm getting covered from head to toe. What do you guys think? That colour, those colours are crisp and beautiful. They're very, very nice. I'm going to just finish off my edges and I'm absolutely um, sure that it's going to dry perfect so it's another green green machine um, let me know what you guys think it's quite crisp and fresh I think but um, I could have added another color rather than red to take away that Christmassy vibe maybe I will try that but thank you again for joining me please take care my lovelies Oh, I'm rocking me duva. I will be back tomorrow. Please join me and um, get creative. That's what I say. Bye for now. So I'm bringing you just back for a second because I added some more of the dark green and gold to try and get, yeah, I wanted it to be more fresh and crisp and not so much of the red, even though there's only a teeny tiny bit in there. My son has set me off saying it's Christmassy and it, you know, I want a piece of art that's year round art, but I'm very happy with it. But I just thought I'd bring you back in because I have uh, squiggled some gold and the dark green and done some balloon rolls on it. So that's why it looks now. I feel it, you know, there's multi-dimensional, I can see lots of different little figures in there. So that's what I did. <laughs> I just wanted you to know. Okay, bye for now.